Hey guys, I'm GS Fear, and in this video, I'm going to show you the ins and outs, the all about the Twitch Stream Manager. So let's go ahead and just start the video. Real quick before you begin, I am GS Fear. I am a content creator on both Twitch and YouTube, dedicated to bringing you the best possible stream tips, tricks, and tutorials to help your stream stand out from all the rest and just simply grow. And if you do want to catch me live, I do stream Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. 8 p.m. EST. I'm usually streaming some retro games. So if you're into that, feel free to just stop by and say hello. So we're going to start off by going to twitch.tv. And if you don't know how to get to the stream manager, I'm going to show you real quick. Come up here to the top right, creator dashboard. You are going to be greeted with this page right here. Yours is obviously going to be a little bit different depending on the account. And it's going to have the activity feed, which is going to show you who gave you bits, subs, follows, hosts, and raids and i think it also shows if people redeem any channel point redeems you're also going to have my chat over here below that and you're going to have the stream preview right beside it you can also show the player or turn it off i kind of keep mine off just so it doesn't lag my potato pc and above that it's going to show you a whole bunch of stats you can actually turn those off i'll show you how to in just a few minutes and to the right of this is a whole lot of quick actions. Now, yours is not going to show you all of these at first. You're going to actually have to press this plus button and add these. As you see, I've added them to my little quick actions. So it's going to show edit stream information. This is going to show you how to change your stream title, the tags and the game as well, as well as the language that you are speaking. You can also clip your channel while you're live. It's a very, very good function. Now, I'm not live right now, so I can't really even clip it. You can also run a 60, 30, 90, uh, I think up to 120 seconds, maybe. Ad break, which is going to allow people to come into your channel. Ad free, which will kind of give you more viewers in the long run. So kind of do periodic ad breaks here and there. You can also raid a channel with this button. You can also raid a channel with backslash raid space and then the account. Just in case you didn't know, you can do the same thing with the host channel down here. You can also start a watch party. Now, if you and your viewers have Amazon Prime, they are able to watch you watch an Amazon show or movie. It's that simple. You can also clear chat. Say you have a spammer. You just banned them, but you don't want any chat at all being seen you just hit that clear chat it's going to completely wipe it you could also change it to emote only chat if you want to have only emotes instead of you know spoilers say you're fighting sephiroth as sora on kingdom hearts you could put emote only chat on and boom no spoilers you can also have follower only chat say you get raided by a bot or a hateful raid just hit that follower only chat problem solved for a little bit now you can also make a poll whatever you want it to be you can use a gift chest which amazon prime members can gift you little you know fortnite goodies and just random drops that they get is what it's called on twitch so you just use that and you can distribute whatever items you've gotten from amazon prime members randomly to the stream you can also start a rerun now i'm not really a fan of this because it starts a rerun of an existing stream that you've already had and i do like to be you know live and being able to chat with people while i'm live otherwise it's just pointless but you may have some success using it you can also manage the reward requests if you are an affiliate or hire aka partner and you could also change it to sub only chat this is also a step further from the follower only chat so use at your discretion I don't really suggest having follower only chat as a new affiliate or even just a new streamer unless you are absolutely established because it is going to bring people and just make them go away from your channel. Not going to lie. You can also choose a prediction. Now, apparently my chat doesn't like me and they don't believe in me because I had well GS one shot the next boss. Yes, had 14 percent, 86 percent had no. Thanks, Twitch chat. But you can make a prediction about anything you want. And the only thing I didn't really go over with the quick actions is the ad stream marker. 
Now you can add a stream marker at one point and add one at another point. So it makes it really easy for you to make a highlight of your stream without having to go through hours and hours of content. Now I'm pretty sure I have everything else added except for the little breaks. You can add up to an 180 second ad break, which is like what, three minutes? Not bad. So there is a new function that they added, Twitch added to the stream manager kind of recently, which is the edit stats and panel. And this is what I was talking about. You can kind of take these out of here if you don't want all the stats and you can also add panels so you can kind of move it to whatever you want it at so you can kind of have just there honestly it's very very cool that they added this to it just to add a little bit of functionality to the stream manager page so you have the hosting you stream health reward request queue the auto mod queue the active mods this is a really really cool one guys it'll show you who who is actually active in your channel at whatever moment so three active eight inactive easy peasy mod actions all that stuff really cool function guys if you enjoyed the video and it was informational please consider commenting below telling me hey it worked and also feel free to hit that subscribe button the notification ding ding so you don't miss any videos like this. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to add the quick actions, little stream manager part to your OBS studio. So be sure to check in with that video and I will catch y'all again. Peace.